everyone. I'm is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's Bryant's Cowboys going up against Beckham's Giants. With that, we're off to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey as we bring in the two men who will call our game, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, thanks. We are across the Hudson from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Prescott on first down. And on the left side, he's got Witten. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. What do they need to improve and where are they solid? I think that they'll want to continue to get better at the linebacker position. I think they want to add another pass rusher because Olivier Vernon, who was a free agent pickup in 2016, did a tremendous job coming off the edge. I thought they really shored up the interior with Damon Harrison, a defensive tackle. Landon Collins played at an MVP level on the defensive side of the ball at safety. And Janoris Jenkins became an eraser out on the corner. And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Now down ball. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Beckham, the return. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. here it's a loss of a yard there and now second down you have to give big time credit to the cornerback on that play most of them must, but he diagnosed that play so fast and got into the backfield for a loss of yardage that's a monster play by a corner he lost two there and it's third down and yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Manning gonna throw Trying to get it to Beckham, and it's intercepted. A great lead, and it's picked off. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up, let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Here we go. Second down, Prescott toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's third and short. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and backs it away. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They keep on the ground with Elliott, and he struggles to get a yard here. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, holding them to one yard on a first down run. 
It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. On second down, Elliott, and he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four. Now third down. They tried to run the counter, just that the defense wasn't fooled. And when they're not fooled, you see the end result. Because what you're doing there, you mentioned the counter. You're using your offensive linemen sometimes to pull or move to influence the defensive front to go in that direction and create the space back in the other side and block it appropriately. But you're exactly right. Didn't move him. Sat there waiting for him and made the play. And Bailey able to knock it through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So after the pick, they can't capitalize for six, but they do get three. And I know in this situation, most of us want to focus on the offense. You know what side of the ball I played on. Let's give that defense a lot of credit. Taking it over in a sudden change situation and shutting them down. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Here's a nugget, Charles, on OBJ. This year he had 101 catches. Now 288 for his first three years in the league. That ties him with the catches for a receiver in their first three years in the NFL. And just think about it this way. LSU is known as a running back factory yeah. as well. So wide receivers coming into the league and doing the damage they're doing, absolutely incredible. But I do know this. OBJ will tease his former teammate and say, don't forget, we're tied. But I missed a few games my rookie year. If I played those games, I'd be way ahead of you. Over the middle to Beckham. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, that's the kickstarter right there. Eli Manning finding his guy, Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah, it's a deadly combination, isn't it? It really is, but what really makes it work is just how it's all the way in. Touchdown. And the Giants are going to take a first quarter lead. And nowadays in NFL football, you have to account for all the receivers, sure, but the tight end, such a weapon, and they prove it right there. Oh, without a doubt. And we're seeing now the golden age of tight ends catching the football. I go back to Kellen Winslow. Uh -huh. To me, he was a prototype of what we're seeing today. We're seeing it each and every week now. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled. Granted, and we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. One man in the backfield, Elliott. And they'll give it to him here. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. See if they stay on the ground for a second down. Tough day, tough sledding right there. And it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. A second down throw for Prescott. Going right side. He has Winton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Okay, when the big guy runs a corner route, you're asking a lot, no matter who's covering him. Doesn't matter whether it's a linebacker or a defensive back. Yeah. He usually has the advantage because of his body type. A first down carry by Elliott. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Drops it underneath. Elliott. It'll be a three-yard game, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. And just in general, try to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield. It's very difficult, especially 
if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those... And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Des Bryant from 10 yards out, and the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. They'll send back him alone to the left side. Throwing now is Manning. Will tie the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. They come out here in the eye. Now a carry here for Orleans Darkwan. Still on his feet. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. Give them a lot of credit. They ended up running the ball on a key third down situation. They were staring three and out in the face and found a way to flip the script and keep the ball moving on offense. They'll run again now with Darquan. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. All right, partner, despite my eating my quick enough, but with the defensive ends nowadays and their speed, Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown, Giants! Odell Beckham, 66 yards. And the Giants are once again going to retake the lead. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really, it will get set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down. And that's caught inside the 35. And that one results in 35 yards. So an entertaining first half, and now we have hit the two-minute warning. Fresh set of downs here. Tim Carey now for Allen. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. 
That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. And now they're in the hurry up. Prescott now looking for his tight end, Witten, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Here's Darquan. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now Darquan muscles him off. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And that's why defense coordinators always preach 11 guys to the ball. Because sometimes you have a missed tackle, but if you have a swarm of guys around, less room for them to roam even after the first missed tackle. In this case, tackle was missed. Plenty of open field to get after that. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run with Darquan. And he'll be stopped up quickly here at the 38 and 8. And they're going to speed things up here. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And the Giants ready to come out now. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, deeper, deeper. tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had the ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. To throw, it's Manning. And he's got Will Ty complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the air. And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Pretty good running there. Nine yards. Sets up a third and one. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Now the offense lining up first and ten. On the run, Darquan. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. To throw is Manning. And this is Shepard on the catch. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. A look at the offense now here, coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Prescott to throw it. And incomplete here on third down. Des Bryant, the intended receiver, and it's fourth down. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. It's Prescott. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And he'll be marked down at the two-yard line. And now out come the Giants. And that recipe on their last drive that was open to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Offense working with a second and goal now from the three. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Odell Beckham, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, I'm going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. To throw that. No escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Kelvin Shepard coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Second down, Prescott. A battle for it here, and this will be caught. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And really just a heck of a catch. That's a really good receiver making a nice play. And against a really good defensive back. Right there together, and over the top, the receiver wins the battle. They're going to hurry back to the line now. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And down inside the 15 he goes. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. Now Prescott. Never make the move. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jason Witten from 13 yards out. And the Cowboys cut into that lead. And he's able to put it through. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. 
at about the 23-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it will be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Well, if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field, any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part. Gets a chance to get after the quarterback. It's almost like a reverse red zone. They can create points using their defense, and this time they take their man down. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. And looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. And following that penalty, the offense really backed up now on third down. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Now Manning. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Carr. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 61 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. And New York set to take the field. 